Um, I met Tilt when I was 13, 2001. Um, when I first met Tilt, I met him on the same day he dropped. I'm serious. Um, the first nigga I could say that I could honestly say I ever, this was, the, this was the first nigga I ever met in my life that was writing without paper. You dig what I'm saying? Like seeing this shit with my own eyes, like, and, um, I'm like, what the fuck this nigga doing? Because this nigga used to like, just write it, like feel on the wall type shit. Just walk around the studio feeling on the wall, man. I was 13. I am like, what the fuck this nigga doing? But you know what I'm saying? Just to see that shit happen. And, um, you know, the whole situation ain't go out with L.A. Reed. And I called them back from my mama house. Oh, we Back then, nigga, we still had, like, telephones, nigga, in the house and shit. I called them off the phone. Uh, matter of fact, I called my manager. My manager put them on the phone. They had flew. That's when they flew to New York. And uh, got that fucking deal with Atlantic. And uh, you keep, they fly back to Atlanta. So, like, that weekend, like, that next weekend, you know what I'm saying? I go down there. I shoot down there and shit. I'm like, wow, I'm like 14 at the time. And uh, we was in patchwork, and he was getting uh, the trap music, like, mixed down and shit. You know, the records mixed down and shit. I'll never forget, bro. Bro was coming down the stairs, and I'm walking up the stairs, and I'm just like, you know what I'm saying? Excited to see Big Bro, because I already was hearing, like, you know, what they did, the move they just pulled and shit. And uh, that nigga told me straight up, grabbed me, like, look, bro, if I can do this shit, you can do this shit. And that shit stuck with me, fam. You know what I'm saying? That shit, shit like that stuck with me. That's why I always be ahead of the game. That's why I was always different from them, from these niggas. That's why Carla Park couldn't handle me. You know what I'm saying? That's why he couldn't handle me, bro, because I was a different species, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Them niggas was just used to that dance shit, used to that, used to that bubblegum rap shit, but I come from the trenches, and my foundation laid well. You know what I'm saying? So, like, when it comes to the music, you can't compare, bro. Like, niggas can't compare. Even to even to now, I got songs back then that still smashing niggas songs now. You know what I'm saying? The game ain't ain't what it used to be, bro. And I'ma come change this shit, man. Due to the fact, cause I know, like I know what I've seen, I know what I've been through, and I know the dudes that I done paid, man. Real talk, gang shit, no lame shit. Time out for that same shit, that lame shit. Time out, I ain't got that time to entertain it. Time out, time out the time. Told you I ain't got the time. See the sign, like I'm going blind. Time out for the bullshit. I swear. Time out, don't do it. I swear. Time after time, I told myself I wasn't gonna do it, but I kept on doing.